Hello everyone, in the previous video we had defined the materials and sections I will put the link in the description and this video we will define the load pattern Define load patterns and uh, dead loads we will define two types of uh, load patterns dead and dead super dead it's uh, specialized to calculate the own weight of the sections or structure so you uh, you can rename it to ow uh, the software will get the properties you had defined in the previous video and use it to calculate the own weight and dead super it's uh, specified for the all other dead loads for example the floor finishing ties uh, blocks uh, plastering wall and all other uh, dead loads type super dead and self weight multiplier by zero to define these loads go to define load patterns dead type dead and self weight multiplier uh, one and dead super type super dead and zero add new okay live loads for uh, this project we will define only one type of live loads normal live load but if you have a garage or store or maybe you want to assign a special live uh, load for the roof then you have to define other lives uh, I will define and assign uh, roof live loads as normal live load for simplicity and to cover live loads uh, if the owner add more stories in the future uh, I will not take into consideration the reduction the code allows us to apply to the live loads for multi-story building uh, but uh, maybe later on we will define for or make a special video for this uh, uh, need okay go to uh, define load patterns live live and uh, self weight multiplayer zero as we see we can define it as reduc uh, reducible life when load we will assign uh, UBC 97 as the code to make the software calculate or to calculate the uh, wind forces then later on we will use or we will calculate it manually using the same code and compare the results name wind type wind and separate multiplier by zero UBC 97 then modify the lateral load wind type wind type wind and code UBC 97 add new load modify multiplayer. player we will assign define and assign diaphragms for uh, the slabs and shells so select the first uh, select the first uh, option uh, make sure to uh, apply the load on uh, bo these bo both directions 0 and 90 uh, later on after assigning the diaphragms we will see the values here okay windward coefficient and leeward coefficient we get these values from table 16h in the code in table 16h we are using the normal force method Windward wall and leeward wall the coefficient 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 so use these coefficients 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 the wind speed in my region 85 exposure type encode Exposure type for this project C. Check the code section 1616. Go to 
go to the same section and these are the exposures our project will be on exposure C importance factor check the table 16 K in the code as we see the wind importance factor column and our project uh, is an under type 4 in the category so our project or the importance factor in our project is equal to 1 use this importance factor 1 exposure height uh, apply the wind forces to all stories above the ground level uh, so select base and the highest uh, story story 9 if you have stories under the ground if you have a basement maybe or any story under the ground then uh, select start from the first story above the ground level we don't have a parapet but maybe if you have any parapet on the uh, roof th then include parapet and input the height okay okay we will not define snow loads for this project it depends on the region for seismic loads we will define two types of seismic loads eq drift type seismic drift and eq type seismic why we, w we need to define two types of seismic loads let's check the code static force procedure we usually we start with the static analysis then we check if the building needs to apply the dynamic uh, procedure or it's enough to uh, apply only the static force uh, procedure we will see this later why we need two types of the static forces or static load patterns because for the designing base shear the co code puts this limitation lower limitation on the designing base shear that we use to design the sections and the code puts limitation o on upper limitation on the T structure period used to calculate the base shear as we see but on the uh, forces used to check the drift and uh, displacement we will see as we see while calculating the drift we may disregard the lower limitation on the base shear that means we may get lower value of base shear then we the drift uh, will become uh, lower or smaller and the upper limitation we can neglect the upper limitation of the period so then we get larger t the, uh, this means a smaller v base shear and this means a smaller drifts so we that's why we want to define two types of uh, uh, two types of uh, static forces on the EQ type seismic the uh, etabs will take into consideration the limits the upper limit of the period and uh, when we define EQ drift seismic drift the uh, etabs will neglect the upper limit on T so go to etabs define load patterns EQ seismic and the code we want to use uh, UBC 97 add new and EQ drift make sure to select seismic drift and add new Sorry. UBC 97 modify load and we will modify these forces modify as we see we will 
define or include uh, all directions in the EQ load button but after after checking if we need to take into consideration the orthogonal effect we will do this uh, check later uh, if the orthogonal effect is needed to be taken into consideration then we will separate each direction uh, with uh, its uh, load pattern but for now we will include all, all directions and uh, EQ and for the EQ drift uh, eccentricity as we see in the code the accidental torsional moment from this section we will start with 5% of the building dimension and later on we will check if we need to multiply multiply it with this uh, amplification factor we will check this later so take 5% CT by feet CT equal to 0 0.02 you can check this section in code this value is for steel moment resisting frame we don't have steel in our project and uh, this is for moment resisting uh, frame concrete moment resisting frames and for all other buildings as our uh, project the CT equal to 0 0.02 this is in metric but it has doesn't uh, take in metric so put CT equal to 0 0.02 and after checking the T if we have we will uh, calculate the T and base shear manually and if we have other values we can input it using user de defined story range all I put usually uh, from base to the highest story and R R equals 5.5 .5. we can check it in the table and table 16 and in the code table 16 and we will try to focus on the shear walls to resist the lateral forces and uh, ba uh, base shear so we are in building frame system shear walls because we have uh, columns and the shear walls not only shear walls so we are in building frame system for the basic structure basic structural system of our project B building frame system shear walls concrete and r equals to 5.5 .5. later on we will check if the this system is working well so we will check the percentage of base shear resisted by the shear walls because if uh, the uh, frames resist more than 25% of the uh, base shear then we are in one of these um, uh, systems dual systems and we have to follow uh, the code requirements we will check this later but for now we are in building or our project in building frame system shear wall concrete and R equals to 5.5 so in e tabs r equals to 5.5 seismic coefficients we can if uh, if the project uh, in one of these zones we can simply select the zone and select the soil profile type you can get the this soil profile type from the uh, ge geotechnical report just insert these and uh, etabs will put uh, the right CA and CV uh, this project and one in uh, zone that is not in this list so just choose user defined go to these tables for CA go to table table 16 Q and for CV go to table 16 R table 16 Q and code the project is in zone Z equal to 0 0.25 in Lebanon soil profile SB so make a linear interpolation 
CV, CA will equals to 0 0.25 and for CV same here take the average so CV equals to 0 0.25 in etabs CA and CV equals to 0 0.25 that's why we have to check if the uh, software uh, took the right uh, upper limit for the structure or the fundamental period because we uh, input these coefficient uh, manually or user defined the importance factor I check table 16k in UBC table 16k the same uh, table used for uh, wind importance factor our project in this category and I equal to 1 go to e tabs and I equal to 1 define or modify the same and put the same values for EQ drift 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.2 all stories 5.5 user defined 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 1 okay if you added more stories make sure to modify these loads and add the new stories for the range for the range don't forget to do this how to add more stories, edit stories, modify and add more stories save your file and that's it for this video